family meal is the most beautiful and unforgettable memories of every Vietnamese. It symbolizes for union and love. It's a time where all family members sit around the table, enjoy home-cooked food, and we talk to each other about our days as well as share stories of the past. Meal is served all at once and shared among us. Besides steamed rice, which is the staple, each meal would require the balance between protein, vegetables and carbs. And every meal should include a soup, a salty braised or fried dish, and some sort of vegetables, either boiled, stir-fried or pickled. It could be quite a headache if you have to think of this combination for every meal. So in this series, I will introduce you some sample meals that my family have so you have more ideas what to cook for your lunch or dinner tonight. Every meal will come with a theme and for today, we are cooking up a family meal for the autumn. For today's meal, we will have four dishes. The first dish is butternut squash stir-fry with garlic and for a salty dish we will have a braised king oyster mushrooms with pepper and ginger It's called nam đùi gà kho tiêu For soup we will have a Thai inspired sweet and sour soup and some fresh vegetables as a side Now as the season is changing and uh, we're gonna have access to all these amazing autumn ingredients like you know pumpkin or butternut squash and if you live in an ideal world <laughs> you could uh, pick up the beautiful mushrooms in your backyard so I have here three different kinds of mushroom this is king otter mushroom this is uh, enoki mushroom and the basic straw mushroom which is really popular in Vietnam we're gonna prepare these first alright so I have here a bowl of uh, cold water we just uh, gonna dump in here, um, you know, one tablespoon of salt for every one liter of water. That is the amount of salt you need to soak the mushroom. So we're gonna clean all the roots and uh, soak the mushroom in the salted water for about 15 minutes. And then we're gonna start preparing them. Wow, this uh, King Oyster mushroom are really chubby <laughs> so cute for the enoki mushroom you just uh, cut out the root part which is the other half part at the bottom yeah and separate them you also want to soak this in salted water as well as the straw mushrooms for the straw mushroom you also do the same trim away all the root part and soak in the bowl of salted water after soaking in the salted water for a while, you can remove and cut the king oyster mushroom into like chunks. King oyster mushroom is like the king of all the mushrooms. It's so nice and meaty and really go great with a salty dish like this. Today's meal is a seasonal one. I use all the ingredients popular in the autumn and no meat. But uh, I also use fish sauce for the cooking because it's an autumn meal and not a vegetarian meal. But definitely you can make it vegetarian by replacing the fish sauce with soy sauce and uh, you will have a perfect vegetarian meal. So to season the king oyster mushroom, we will add about um, one tablespoon of sugar and a two tablespoon of soy sauce some pepper <laughs> look my cute little pepper grinder so you put the uh, peppers in here peppercorns and just uh, dry like this and it's come out here. Oh, all the ground pepper, so cute. <laughs> this is actually the very traditional pepper grinder in Vietnam. I love it. 
Okay, so you just mix it up. Let's also add in here some mint shallot. And a good teaspoon of mushroom stock powder. Mix well and set aside for about 30 minutes or 15 minutes if you don't have time. Now let's move on to prepare the butternut squash. This is a really great uh, autumn ingredient as well as pumpkin. Uh, it's really good for you, rich in vitamin A and uh, it tastes really great when you stir fry with garlic and that's what we're making today. Just uh, peel the skin and cut the butternut squash. Cut into about one inch cubes. Don't cut it too thin because it's gonna break when you stir fry. If you want it to look pretty, you can use all this uh, wavy knife to cut. So that side is good. It's not too thin and will not become mushy, but it's uh, still in shape. Try to cut them into the same size so all the cubes are cooked uh, evenly. Next, we will uh, mix up some garlic to stir fry the butternut squash. Time for multitasking. I have over here one wok to stir fry the butternut squash, and this one we will start cooking the king oyster mushrooms. Okay, pan's nice and hot. Add in here some vegetable oil and here also. Okay, so here goes the garlic. When the garlic turns uh, slightly golden and very fragrant, toss in the butternut squash cubes. Wow, smells so good. To this, we will season with about a teaspoon of um, mushroom seasoning powder, a little bit of sugar if you don't mind, just a little bit, and some salt. You can add soy sauce if you like. Look at the color, so pretty. And you want to add in here some water and cover the lid so uh, it has time to be tender. And this pan is also getting hot. We're gonna add in here one tablespoon of uh, sugar. Watch the caramelization process. The sugar will melt very quick and it will turn into a beautiful, nice amber color. Before it turns dark, <laughs> toss in the mushroom. Awesome. Keep stirring and simmer for about 15 minutes over low heat. Okay, so why these two need uh, 15 minutes to cook? We're gonna move on to prepare the ingredients for the soup. For the soup, you will cut the straw mushroom in half and cut the tofu into dices. Also cut the tomato into wedges and then uh, remove some of the seed and cut each wedge into half. Because this is a Thai inspired <laughs> sweet and sour soup, I also use some lemongrass and a few lime leaves to give it a really distinct flavor. For the sourness of the soup, in Thailand they use uh, normally lime juice, but in Vietnam we use tamarind, so it's up to you, you can chew either of those. If you use tamarind pulps like this, you just uh, pour in some hot water and let the sourness extract. And for the um, lemongrass, you will need about two to three stalks. 
and we just uh, slightly bruise like that. Good. You can cut in half. Yeah, like that. Alrighty, so we have all the ingredients ready, including the enoki mushroom which I have prepared and soaked in salted water. Let's check on the pumpkin. After about 15 minutes, you can see that the pumpkin is already tender when you use a chopstick to poke it. And it is easily can go through. Um, that's good. And it's still in the shape. If you want extra garlicky flavor, you can uh, crush a few more of the garlic cloves and throw in at the later step. Yeah. Other than that, it's good. Um, I opened the lid during the last five minutes so the water had time to evaporate and now look at that, it's all sticky, dry and looks very delicious. We can add in here some pepper and some chopped scallion if you like and it's ready. Now let's uh, put on another saucepan to cook the soup. So the mushroom is also being simmering for 15 minutes. It should be good now. Look at the color. So pretty. Wow. All right. All the good flavor from the soy sauce and sugar uh, should have absorbed into the mushroom. Uh, now you can add uh, some ginger if you like and pepper to uh, give it a good kick. Cut the ginger into julienne strips. Just a little bit is good, like that, and throw in the mushroom. If you add ginger, it's nam kho gung. If you add pepper, it's nam kho tiu. <laughs> I'm gonna add both today. <laughs> so pepper, yep, look at that color. Ah, oh, so nice. You can have a taste and adjust the seasoning a little bit. It's almost evaporated. It's good. You can turn off the heat. So pan's nice and hot. Adding some oil and fry some minced garlic until fragrant. And then toss in the tomatoes. Oh, oh my god. Oh. If you stir fry tomato like this, it will release a really beautiful red color for the soup later. All right, when it's nice and tender, we can add in some hot water to save time. We're gonna add in here half a teaspoon of salt, about a teaspoon of mushroom stock powder. If you don't have this, uh, you can skip it, it's okay. And some sugar. It will balance out the uh, sourness of the tamarind later, right? And we're gonna throw in here for the aromatic some smashed lemongrass, a few lime leaves which just uh, you just stare and throw it in. It smells really good. And when it boils, you can add the mushroom. The tamarind has been soaking in hot water for a while, so you can easily break it and extract the sour juice into the soup. In goes the tofu dices. Wow, it smells so good. And the lemongrass and lime leaves, uh, when you smell it, you can feel that uh, it has some Thai flavor in it. So if you are vegetarian, uh, you can add more salt to balance the taste. If you are uh, eating normal, you can add fish sauce to um, season the soup. And before you turn off the heat, you can separate the enoki mushroom and add in. This needs just about one minute to cook, so don't overcook it, okay? Ah, oh, look at that! The soup is so delicious and beautiful with all these different texture and colors. So nice. Good, 
So now the meal is completed and let's plate it up. If you want to pack up this lunch for your loved one to bring to school or to work, it's great to buy those lunch boxes like this. It's uh, divided into different sections where uh, you can put every course into each section. And uh, today I have brown rice instead of uh, white rice to make this meal extra healthy and I also put some more fresh lettuce and herbs uh, this is what we call rau sống in Vietnamese um, it's a great way to add some raw fresh vegetables into your diet mm, it smells so good and I'm sure that whoever you prepare this for they will feel so touched and so loved um, when they open this box um, during lunch time Anyway, if not packing it for anyone, you can of course prepare it um, into a everyday family meal like this. I know many of you trying to cut down on meat um, for every meal and so I have think of this menu for you. Um, it's really healthy and especially it's make use of all the seasonal ingredients. Uh, it's great for autumn so I hope you're gonna enjoy it and let it in to see how it tastes. Mmm, <laughs> mm, it smells so good. The garlic really come through. Mmm, mmm, it's cooked perfectly. As you can see, the butternut squash is still stay in shape, but it's very soft and creamy. It's like melt in your mouth. Really good. Let's try this one. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> when you braise mushroom in soy sauce, it boosts up the umami taste in the mushroom and it tastes so good. Add some oyster sauce to make it perfect. And let's try the soup. Mm. All the food today is really really fragrant. Each dish has a different smell. This one a lot of garlic, this one ginger, and this one um, you smell lemongrass and lime leaves. Really good. Mm. Mm. So happy. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and if you give it a try, please share with me a photo on Instagram with hashtag Helen Recipe. Also, don't forget to click thumbs up if you enjoyed this series and subscribe to my channel for more awesome family meal style like this. Also, click on the bell button so you won't miss the next episode when it comes out. I will see you then next time. Bye-bye!